Today we'll be reviewing the new pilot pen I got. What's up friends, Liron here, coming at you from my new place. It's temporary, so I'm trying not to get used to it too much, even though it's kind of better than the other apartment. Uh, but anyway, I have about a week, uh, between a week and 10 days in here, until they fix the original apartment. So I'll just give you a really, really quick tour, and then we get to the review. So, we've got a kitchen here, um, but some veggies and... Um, it's really much larger than the other one. Here's the window where I'm actually, I recorded already just the, the demo part. I'm just recording this afterwards. Um, there is a place to work a little bit, a uh, couch that opens into a bed, and there's the bathroom and shower, and it's really, really, really comfortable, I have to say. Um, but anyway, the, the key, like, advantage of this apartment is really the kitchen so we'll try to uh, cook here as much as possible in this uh, week to 10 days and then go back to the other place and sort of improvise and I hope it will be okay. Uh, so anyway we can now start with the review we'll do a little unpacking and just a short demo and I'll try to sketch out the view outside the window and it's gonna be fun so let's get to it. So friends uh, let's get this thing opened I honestly it's the first time I ever <laughs> use something like this um, so let's just open it up um, there's some just uh, some marketing stuff fountain pen ergonomic handle ideal for learning to write which is exactly our use so it's perfect <laughs> um, yeah okay so it's the pilot plumix um, I think it's oh, medium size and yeah, let's get it open. I hate, used to hate these kinds of packages as a kid because always like, even toys would come in stuff like that, especially cheap ones, and it would be really hard and annoying to open it up. Um, anyway, here we have it. So, it comes with, let's move this aside. It comes with, so we have the pen, we have the cap, and everything is running away. <laughs> uh, pen and the cap, and it's oh, it's very interesting. It's like um, hmm, okay, it has a um, interesting feel to it. I'm really curious to see uh, what it would be like. So I'm, I suppose I'm supposed to put these inside somehow. So I'll try to figure it out live. And it looks like this simply goes in here. And I would guess that you kind of just need to press it in there. And I have this one spare in case I ruin everything. But uh, really I don't see any other way of doing it. So I'm going to take the risk. And I'm just going to press it in. Okay, three, two, one. Ooh, wow. Okay, that's cool. You can see the ink filling up. I'm not, not sure if it's coming through in the through the camera, but uh, I think it's ready. Let's close it up and try to <laughs> do some stuff with it. So uh, some of you recognize this one. <laughs> Just had a spare page here, so I thought I'd uh, give it a shot. Um, I really don't know if I'm like just supposed to start writing with it and it works. So uh, I don't know. We'll just try, I guess. Oh. Okay, yeah, yeah. Maybe I'll sit down. Looks like a fun little adventure. The one thing that I kind of didn't think about, and let me zoom in a bit so you can see, is that the ink is blue. And I was planning on <laughs> black, but uh, I guess I'll have to deal with it. And I have to say, after like doing a lot of things with nib pens, kind of uh, manga style pens, uh, this one is much easier. Like really much, much easier. Uh, the control is really nice, so you can go very thick if you apply more pressure and then thin if you light up. Uh, the direction has a lot to do with the lines you get. 
And one thing I like immediately notice, uh, which contrasts starkly with the manga uh, nib pens or G pen or maru, maru pen, like that's with a Japanese accent for you, uh, is that the direction it's less sensitive. So with the nib pen, G pen, I, I remember I had to really be careful with the direction in which I'm working. And with this one, it's really easy. You can get like thin lines very easily. With the nib pen, it would scratch the paper too much. And I know some people say you need to break through it. Some people say you you need to heat it to get rid of the oil in it. Like, But I did all those things and I still didn't really connect with the style, but this one is so different. Uh, let me zoom in even more so you can see the details. So hopefully the lighting is, uh, is good because um, yeah, it's the new place and I, I don't really, I'm still not familiar with uh, how it will uh, really look on film. It's just fun to do this. Like, <laughs> I just really enjoy it. Um, so I do notice one other thing for anyone who feels like they have a hard time producing um, very straight lines. Uh, it's, it feels really easy with this one because uh, the nib is sort of, its shape at the edge is kind of flat. It's like this. Like, uh, I, I doubt that you'll understand, but let me just draw it like magnified. So I'm, I'm literally drawing the nib as I see it. Um, so something like this, then you have this and the well here. So you have a straight line here and that makes it very easy to, to use it to, to draw straight lines, if that makes any sense. Uh, I hope this little graphic I did here <laughs> for you helps. Uh, helps out and you can see like um, yeah my lines aren't perfect too so anyway it's really nice I wonder what it would feel like to actually draw something with it and I do have some stuff that I can look out the window and draw like there's this uh, pipe here uh, I'm just uh, you know the view out of the window isn't really all that fantastic uh, so it's just pipes and other windows, but it could be fun to try and maybe oh, okay So that's that's like a that's a red flag. You, you don't go like this. You only go down So uh, it could be interesting to try and, and sketch kind of the roof here um, Some other details, maybe I'll give it a shot. You know what? So anyway, let me rearrange stuff and just try to sketch out some of the things I see out the window Okay, so uh, just a quick sketch of uh, what I see outside the window. I hope it reads well uh, because I'm at an angle from the window. The window is actually not here, but rather here. Uh, it's a bit hard for me. It was hard to get it uh, in the right rotation. Apologies for that. The reason I did it like this is because I don't want the tripod to block the sunlight from outside. So I put the tripod on the side. So it's at a funny angle. I hope you, you understood this explanation. But anyway, I uh, hope this, I hope this uh, reads well. One thing I will say uh, to, that's important to notice is you can't tell because I was doing it in time lapse, but maybe the result hints at it. I was working at this in a really fast pace, um, really rough and confident line. So it's it just goes to show you that um, I have so many mistakes here in terms of the uh, the perspective and uh, stuff like that. But because you do the lines very confidently, 
uh, it just sort of is not that important. Um, you can get away with inaccuracies many times if the overall composition is accurate and if your lines are confident. Um, and so this is exactly what's going on here. Like my lines are very quick. This is how I worked at it. Like this is the same pace that I've been working on this entire thing for the most part, maybe except for the very first uh, few lines just to set up the uh, composition. So anyway, uh, I hope at the very least this shows you how you can get away with some very uh, rough lines, very quick uh, lines that you just throw out there. Um, it's very very interesting in terms of my uh, the feeling I have towards this uh, pen. I accidentally uh, splashed some paint on the window. It's really weird. Uh, I have it on my finger now so we can do finger painting here on the side. <laughs> Uh, so very interesting, uh, I expected it to be a little more opaque and it feels a bit transparent, I have to say, the blue here. Um, so I will have to play around with it more and I think I will take you outside a bit uh, just, to, just to sketch with it. So anyway, uh, this is it, let's wrap up this video. This is it friends, I hope you enjoyed this little demo, I hope uh, the result is nice, it's not supposed, supposed to like look crazy good, just really quick uh, playing around and it's fun for you I think to see my learning curve as I learn something new which you already see with watercolor but this is a good example. Um, by the way, I'm really not sure because it didn't say and I didn't talk about it, I think this is supposed to be um, waterproof though I could... I don't know, I don't see it now, so I won't make any assumptions, it could be non-waterproof. Uh, it looks a little um, transparent to me, not as opaque as I expected, which makes me suspect it may not be waterproof. I will test it out and I will share it with you, the results. Uh, I plan on taking this outside and really do some sketching uh, with it outside. So you can expect to see that in upcoming videos. I didn't expect it or I didn't even think about if it's going to be blue, uh, but it is blue. So uh, it's not black. I hope to get a, another black one or at least a black cartridge, I guess, could work. Um, so anyway, this is it. I hope you enjoyed it. A bit raw, a bit direct, not too much editing going on. I will see you again tomorrow.